Now that you've downloaded and installed the Component 1 WinForms Edition, let's learn more about the controls. The best place to start is with our Control Explorer. You can download this from grapecity.com and click the .NET UI heading and then Demos. Click Download WinForms Demo Explorer, then launch the application. The Control Explorer is the top of the list for WinForms. Click Install and then Open to launch it. The controls are all organized by categories. This is a good opportunity to see the controls in action to determine the best fit for your application's needs. There are additional demos available in the Demo Explorer. The demos all focus on a specific control, with examples. In addition to the general Control Explorer, there are dedicated Explorer demos for our most popular controls. These can also be downloaded and run from the Demo Explorer. These focus on a specific control and really let you visualize what the controls can do and how you might utilize them in your applications. In addition to the Control Explorers, we also include a package of dedicated samples for each control. These focus on specific functionalities and are provided as .NET projects you can load and build yourself. You can run the C1 Sample Explorer and launch any of the samples. They can also be accessed in your documents directory. The projects, along with the full source code for the general control explorers and dedicated control explorers, are also available here. The Quick Start Guide is a great tool for getting a control on a form and learning the basic features and functionality. The task-based help will cover implementing specific functionality and how to customize the control to meet your needs. There is also a full API reference available. Each control has a documentation page that includes a quick start guide, along with how to configure the most commonly used properties. Let's get started with the controls themselves. We'll open Visual Studio and start a new WinForms project. In the toolbox to the left, you'll see a folder for C1 WinForms 4.5.2 that contains the controls. Click and drag any control onto the form to get started. When you do this, Visual Studio will add all the references necessary for your project. It will also create or update a text file called licenses.licx. When the project is built on a licensed dev machine, it will combine with the listing in the licenses.licx to allow the project to run without NAG screens. If you have any questions or issues during the installation or trial of Component 1 controls, our customer engagement team is here and ready to help. Learn more about everything Component 1 has to offer. Continue with the Component 1 Getting Started series.